Now, this morning we've had a few people come in and just stock up on their whiting gear. One customer in particular asked me about hooks. He really wanted to know what hooks do I need to chase big whiting, All right? So, I love whiting. This is my target species and the hooks I prefer to use, and I told the gentleman this, are true turns. Now, there's a good reason why true turns are a fantastic hook for not just whiting fishing, but all fishing, and it's because they are, they actually have like a cam action twist and lock into the fish's mouth. So, if we have a look at a true turn, I've got one here. All right, next time you're in, check out a packet. You'll see, I don't know if you can see that, but the, the shank of the hook has an offset in it, all right? So what this does, you bait it up like normal, when you have your line attached to it, when a pressure is applied, either by the fish has grabbed the, the hook in the bait and it has turned and started to run, or you striking with the rod, an action is implied to the hook. So what it actually causes is the hook to spin. The hook will spin in the fish's mouth and will find something solid to lock into. That will give you a far better hookup than a standard straight shank hook, simply because of that action. Uh, using these hooks you'll definitely find your catch rate improves. All right? They're especially good for when you're fishing with rod holders or you have your rod sitting in the boat, right, in the estuary. Uh, the fish can just slowly take up pressure on the line, go for a run and the hook will do all the work. Okay? So what I've done is actually to show you how this works, I've set up a little bit of a test uh, on our bench here uh, just to give you a little demo and just show you actually how it works in the water. So if we come over here, so what I've got, I've just set up a bit of a, something a little, with a little bit of grip there that we can drag the hook over and I can show you how it actually works. So first up, I've just got a bit of mono. One end I've just got a fairly well known kind of whiting hook, long shank red whiting hook. And on this end we have the true turn. So I'll start with the true turn first. So it's simply, right, lay the hook there, right? Now as you pull and apply pressure, you'll see the hook will want to spin and lock in. See? Spin and lock in. Bang. You can see it, you can see that offset shank, how it works there. It wants to spin as soon as it finds something to grab hold of. Bang, locks in. That's how the true turn works. That's the beauty of these hooks. They they're proactive in hooking your fish, right? Less work for you. Now, now, with the standard style whiting hook, you can see that if you can just put pressure, drag, 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 drag. Doesn't matter where you do it, you can put it there. Drag, 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 drag. So the fish is running with it. There's a good chance, there's a good chance that this hook will just pull straight out of the fish's mouth, right? Okay, it's not very you know, it'll work if they swallow it, yeah, okay, it's gonna find something nice and tight to go around it and, and hook up, but otherwise, it's not gonna work. Go back to the old true turn, over here on the cloth, bang, straight away. As soon as it touches anything to grip hold of, bang, spins, okay? Bang, and you can see that, look, flip it over, put a bit of pressure, bang, spins. It'll wanna spin. Okay, so there you go guys, that's my main reason for using the true turns and that kind of gives you, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of how they work. Um, the other good thing about the true turns, if you look at the standard shank on a standard hook, like so, there's no barbs or nothing like that. You know, you can feed a lot of worm and stuff like that on there for your whiting, but there's nothing really there to uh, hold, um, you know, the worm up or your bait up on there as well. If you go over to the true turn, all right, they have this bait holder pattern. I don't know if you can zoom in there, but you can see the little s slices in the shank. You can see them. All right, up the top of the shank there near the eye, and that actually holds your worm up there. So, you know, it just gives you a little bit of extra grip there, stops your bait sliding down. Um, yeah, so size-wise for whiting, my preference is a size two when I chase big whiting. Uh, mainly for the fact that you don't get many gut hookups. You don't need to use a really small hook to get that kind of gut hook 
you know, fear of losing the fish, you've got a gut hook, the big ones, uh, simply because those the true turn hooks have that cam action and they work so good. So you can use a slightly bigger hook than what you need. That will eliminate, um, you know, gut hooking smaller fish so you can release them. Uh, and the big ones, they just, they just swallow a number two like no worries at all. So, um, but anyway guys, yeah, look, some of the estuary guys like to use a size four, like there's a size four, there's a size six. They're a really good hook. They're very strong. You know, you can catch off court brim to nearly two kilos on these. They're, they're, they're a very, very strong hook. Very sharp, very strong, and work very well. So if you're coming through next time, stop in and see us. If you want to know anything about whiting fishing or trying to improve your whiting fishing, just give us a, have a chat, give us a yell. Um, we're happy to help you out. So come see us at 1 Karunda Road, Rainbow Beach, or you can always give me a call on 0404 853232.